The airline industry has been hard hit by COVID-19. After the United States shut down all travel for non-essential people in March, small and large airports that would normally be busy with passengers were desolate. With the fear of traveling in many states on lockdown, airlines at University Park Airport saw low numbers in passengers. As an airport that relies heavily on students, alumni, and sports teams, much of their passenger traffic was gone after Penn State University had shut down for the rest of the semester and all sports were canceled. It really bottomed out in April when we only had 465 passengers depart uh, board aircraft for the month. Now you compare that to where we were in 2019 where we averaged a little over 3,700 passengers a week that would depart on commercial air ser airline service uh, aircraft. So it dropped off dramatically. This isn't the first time that the airport has taken a significant hit. There's, there are similar situations uh, in terms of how it's impacted the airports across the country. 9-11, you had the recession of 2007, 2008, uh, and then you now have COVID. At the beginning of the pandemic, the University Park Airport was down 95% in business. Currently, they are down 75%. There has been a slow rise in passenger traffic in recent months, a good sign for University Park Airport. However, it could still take three to five years for them to recover from the pandemic. In State College, I'm Grace Bradley for the Center County Report.